Welcome, friends. It's good to see you. Uh, my name is Remaliah Should, and I wore my horns out today. I haven't in a while. Uh, shit has been going on in my life, and I've been a little bit down, and I haven't felt like dealing with the sort of, you know, whole thing that comes with that. Oh. I'm knocking things over. Stellar. Uh, but it felt like it today. I felt loose. Like I had let go of a great weight. Uh, and I'm ready to start this. In fact, I'm ready to start this, El Paso Elsewhere, by telling you how I was wrong about El Paso Elsewhere. Let me, uh, bring up the game, I suppose. That was Count Ducula, by the way. Hi, Freya. Horns are lovely. I put jewelry on my horns. I've seen a little bit of that. I've seen your art. Where are we? Uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Some of these buttons, I swear to God, do what they do what I want them to do. I just need to remember where they are. Um, so. That's a little bit louder than I want it to be, but it looks like it's fine for y'all level-wise, so I'm just gonna turn it down in my headphones. So, uh, I was talking about this game. I, I meant to say this last week, but I got distracted. Um... I was talking about this game the first week I played it, and uh, I was having a lot of trouble with the first couple of levels, and you're not seeing the game. There we go. Uh, and I looked back over the VOD, and what I said about it at the time was that this game isn't making me do things that other third-person shooters don't make me do. And watching the VOD, I realized that was wrong. Um, so, third-person shooters want you to feel like a competent, if not unstoppable, force, right? Um, you're playing, you know, whatever the character is, a hard-boiled bounty hunter or a noir detective, whatever. You're running and gunning, you're shooting the things, and you want to feel cool and good doing that, right? And there's a lot of little things that game devs do to make that feel better and to make it feel more like you are competent in that space. And one of the things is auto-reloading. Uh, you point your gun at an enemy and you click the button, but there's no bullets in it. And the game goes, oh, you wanted to fire that, but the, but the gun's empty. Let me reload that for you real quick. It's a little bit of a detriment, but not much of one because it wants to get you right back into the action. Uh, El Paso Elsewhere, you point and click and dry fire. And if you pull the trigger again, you dry fire again. And you're going to keep doing that until you remember that you have to manually reload or switch to a gun that actually has bullets in it. And the uh, bullet time is very much the same way. Uh, there's games like this. I talked about wet a little while ago. Uh, when wet, you have basically infinite bullet time and it stops itself for you uh, the second you're done doing whatever cool thing you've done. Uh, here in El Paso Elsewhere, you have to remember to turn that bullet time on and off. And it's important that you remember that you know how to do that because that hyperfocus is a very valuable tool in your kit. But if you're not paying attention to it, you're going to end up burning yourself out and getting overwhelmed. I like that a lot because James here talks about uh, his experiences and flashbacks we've had. And usually it's about how he got hurt doing shit. But even if that's all like self-deprecation and he is usually a very competent actor in these spaces, he is one in a situation that's much worse than any he's been in by his own admission. And second, also by his own admission, he is not doing well. He's uh, strung out on painkillers and adrenaline trying to save the entire world. He's kind of barely hanging on. And I like that the gameplay reflects that by having those things not be automatic actions. It's something that you have to be taken care of, something that you have to keep in the back of your mind because James is having to do that too. Um, I love when gameplay decisions prop up narrative decisions. It's why I love video games. It's why I love holistic art. Uh, I was very excited to say that. I'm going to start playing the video game now. <laughs> we 
we are just going to go back into intentional. I played a little bit just before stream to make sure I remembered how to use all the buttons. Oh, hold on, James. I'll see who the void is pulling from for these places. These moments. This would have been her home. Luckily, I mentioned a mentor once. The man who turned her. Egyptian. He was murdered in a back alley in Victorian London by one of the first gentlemen's monster hunting societies. They did a lot of damage in those days. She never told me his name. Weird to think that I'll get to know her better now than I ever did when we shared our lives together. Ooh, okay, uh, so before we get started, we have content warnings at the bottom of the screen. Meant to say those earlier, forgot to. A little bit scattered. Um, so this is a violent video game. It is about James Savage here shooting his way through a motel in quotes, uh, full of vampires and other undeads. Uh, addiction. Uh, James is a self-professed drug addict and is just taking as many painkillers as possible to get himself through this whole experience. Uh, I have suicide mentioned down there. James keeps referring to this as a one-way trip. So that's a theme we're probably going to be looking at a little bit more. Also content warned for a relationship that we've upgraded to absolutely went all the whole way off the rails uh, because we got a little bit of uh, James and Dracula's uh, relationship falling apart at the end of last stream, and it was rough. It was real rough. So uh, when we come across those flashbacks, I'm gonna remind you, hey, this might be full of some rough material. El Paso is a very unique looking place. I've never seen anything like this. It's almost like it's completely elsewhere. <laughs> Uh, Battered has resubscribed uh, for 18 months. Thanks. I love how much you love this game. I'm glad that you... I love that you love how much I love this game. It's a really fucking good video game is the thing. Marathon. We are back into the well, graveyard. The mm-hmm. I'm waiting. Okay, yeah. One down. <laughs> Probably a level trigger, huh? Oh, I thought that was a run button. Oh, whoops. One of the... Patient. Thanks, bud. Thanks for closing the tomb. Um. Great. Not gonna let you get in front of me, or above me, or behind me. I'm not gonna let you get anywhere near to me, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's a lot of ways to go here, isn't there? Yeah, there are. Um, let's make sure we've cleared out this space and then move in. Uh, what do you think? How about counterclockwise? It works so well in the, it works so well in Dark Souls. Can no more if I tried. Uh, we are full upon pills. We're full upon most things, actually. So. That's great. This castle was like this. The walls are familiar. He's assembled them into this place that isn't real. I resent that. There we are.
Okay. Getting too deep. What are we gonna do? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go around the wall. You know, classic adventure and bullshit. Just hug a wall. I can't do it. I don't worry, friend. You're not gonna die here. I mean, you're gonna die. Everyone dies, but you know, not here. I am. Um, hmm, that way it goes back into that, huh? Finally. Hostage cannot die here. See, I like that. It's more like a anti-death zone. We're not allowed to die here. We posted a sign and everything. I see you. I see you hiding behind there. Oh, I didn't see you right over there next to me. And that's on me. Steak and steak and steak. There we go. Holy shit. Okay. There was something in that window. We... Distortion, I know. The funhouse mirror. Oh, but the no. void oh, is no. building new things. Hold on to themselves. Here. Suck and that, I don't vampire. know why. <laughs> Actually, let's just break all of this and get our stakes back. There we go. Keep hugging a wall. No, wait, we need to be looking up in the sky for the hostage beacon, don't we? Uh, which, yeah, we can just get by. I don't know where this is. Please, please, ma'am. Thank you. Loves vampires. These vampires are uh, trying to kill me, but generally I don't have a problem with vampires. I'm aware that you're dating a vampire, and I think your vampire boyfriend is lovely. Please stay down. Thank you. I'm good. I feel like there's more. Where's the... Uh, oh, hey! <laughs> right on the other side of the wall, huh? What an asshole. Uh, hmm, okay. Bunch of spawns. Forgot that that's not the button to do that, and I dove instead. Oh, please come down. Uh, I'm just gonna stake every single motherfucker in this room. Oh, hey, I did get the two for one. Nice. There are so many resources. It does make me nervous. Where the fuck is my elevator? Uh, my way out. <laughs> I've completely lost track of it. Where am I going? Just straight that way? Yeah, just straight this way. Where the uh, walls are starting to get really fuzzy and uncomfortable looking? Yeah, over here. That's where it should be. Peace of mind. 
Uh, let's just... Let's just destroy some ancient furniture. Let's just destroy some ancient furniture to turn it into weapons. There we go. Can't see beyond my gun barrel. But we do have a flashlight, so... Oh, hey, a rifle. That's new. And a great... I guess this is what the rifle ammo looks like. It's just a great big box that says ammo on the side. I presume it's not lying to me. Oh, I should not be handling a high-powered rifle under these conditions. I'm out of ammo. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Gratefully, you can't get up here. Should I be able to... Aim a little more tightly? It feels like I should be able to. But I don't know how I would do that. Put one down. Oh, the top of the stairs just move. Yeah, it did. Let's go check it out. something up here. Uh, no, just more, you know, El Paso. Oop, go this way. Full up. Ah, okay, here's a movie camera, so this might be another flashback. No idea how it's gonna go. Um, hit and use. So, you click here, and then you can see any photos they've taken there. Can I, can I move it? Yeah, sure. Oh, I, I used to go for walks down this exact street. I mean, it looked different then, but I cracked a man's head open on that stoop, that exact stoop. You can still see the mark. How, how hard did you do this? Hard enough to leave a mark. <laughs> I, I did it in front of his family. Wow. He was a hunter. There were a lot of hunters back then, and they followed me wherever I would go. They're why I lost my power. How did you get them to stop hunting you? I killed all of them. And for other families? Most of the time. Ooh. I'm full up. Pardon me, sorry. I Oh, up there. There is oh that's wrong. Oh Ah, reload. Hey, you remember that uh you keep going, by the way. That thing I said about remembering to reload. Uh I like this will be useful. I like this little zone, by the way, how it's like pretty explicitly a shooting gallery uh, to teach you how to uh, best handle your new long range rifle. I do remember that. Thank you, Freya. Oh, you're on. Okay. Uh oh. Please. And no, it's fine. All right, I have let them surround me, the brides, which I agree with you is not ideal.
and that wall's come down, but fuck that, because I want to search around the area. Well, not fuck that. We'll go deal with it in a moment, but, you know. <laughs> Let's look for secrets and treasures, you know, while we're here. In this time we have together. Is that it? Just two of you? Okay, we come down into the area. You're not gonna spawn like 50 vampires at me, are you? Void? Void? I'm trusting you. I needed this. That's a heal too while we're about it. <laughs> Huh, yeah, that went perfectly fine, but where am I meant to go? Oh, this way. Oh, hey, this is the scene from the uh, the, uh, the the title screen. It's James at the end of a long hallway, and then there's a really uh, massive fucker with a club. <laughs> Ominous laughter, apparently. What? Oh. And the giant club person is gone. Everything keeps transforming. Every really new piece of itself like an intricate clockwork. Um I've done this badly. I've gotten myself trapped into a corner. It is fine. I rolled out. There we are. So the the rifle can has enough precision to handle these uh, knights, the ones that need to be shot very explicitly in the chest. But I think I prefer the shotgun for it. For a lot of reasons, not the least of which is that they ragdoll real fun. Oh, whole wall's coming down. Please. Okay, thank you. And one more. Oh, you went real noodly. Now I'm just going to stay back here until you're done doing all your fucking vibrating. And then I'll figure out how to do, handle you. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. I'm going to switch on that central platform. Did you ever see me shoot things? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. That's going to kickstart all of this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fun. Let's go make sure we have all of the... Let's go make sure we have everything upgraded. Let's go make sure we have everything uh, reloaded. Let's just real quick make sure everything... As tasty as we can make it. Uh... Five stakes, five stakes. Ooh, actually, yeah. In a space like this, throwing down Molotovs is gonna probably do some business. What's that button again? Uh, I can hit the number seven, but I have a controller in my hand, so that's nothing.
Um, got a little stuck. Well, I uh, set the knights on fire. Which, given that they don't actually take damage anyway, but uh, getting shot in the chest, I think, might have been a bad decision. I was excited by the idea of Molotovs. I was excited... I was excited to have a legitimate use for them. I think that's not... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let y'all keystone cops around me for a second while I figure out what to do with you. I think I need to drag you into a much wider area so I can do my roll through thing. Oh yeah, I got that one caught on a thing. Ow, okay. So maybe letting them get separated wasn't the best idea. I'm sorry for how this is, sonically. Um... Oh no. Okay, next wave is spawning in. There we go. At least got rid of the knights. Or we had to handle this. It is still a bottleneck right here, which is... Oh, please. No, stop doing it. No, stop being here. Okay. Black Knight was the source of the laughter. A fuse pharaoh. Uh, okay, we can go further down now. Let's, uh, just go ahead and chug some pills. <laughs> Thank you, Bad Road. Instead of the Shambling Hordes of the Undead, you now have the Shambling Hordes of the Undead on fire. I'm full up. Oh, it is the elevator, too. Wonderful. So it turns out I shouldn't have trusted the Void. <sighs> oh, it's wrecked out here. Oh, all of this looks bad. Okay. <laughs> Castle's in the air. I love castles in the air. Don McLean. Right? <laughs> if you ask me why, you can tell her that I told you that I'm sad. Castles in the air. I've got a dream. I want the world to share in castle walls. Just lead me to despair. I really like Don McLean. It's a shame that, like, his uh, most famous song is American Pie. Not that American Pie isn't fantastic. Holy shit. Okay. Hey, angels. We haven't seen them since the tutorial. Sticky sweet. 
as Kraken wants to feel. As far as video games go, we're about 50-50 on trusting the void. Oh uh, yeah. That's better representation than, you know. Um can we jump that far? Oh, we can just stand on that. We don't have to jump. Oh no. They don't like us standing on that. I mean we can, but we're not supposed to. Yeah, I just aim right in the middle of the angels when they show up. I like these, by the way, the gyroscope angels with the eye in the middle. I'm so glad they've started the lyrics. Yeah, I, I it, this whole soundtrack has just continued to slam. Be, oh, you're behind me, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. I will not allow you to be behind me. Hang on. There we are. Thank you. Well, mention again that the soundtrack is available at Bandcamp because, um,. Again, this flaps and pay artists. Please, get away. Oh yeah, Don McLean had a lot of really good tracks. Uh, we had a best of Don McLean... Uh, Oh, I can see an angel over the wall. Can I get you from this distance? Yeah. Yeah, that felt really good. I really like Dreidel. It's a song about anxiety. Uh, in a way that's like... Gonna... Okay, this is bit, this is too much to handle at once. I'm just gonna stake them out. Um, I get rid of you. Uh, it's a song about anxiety that still like really reads. Um, here in 2024, because, uh, say what you like about war, but anxiety, <laughs> anxiety never changes. I did not need to take that hit. Hey, got overwhelmed by werewolves. Uh, I'm not auto aiming at you, so you probably don't come to life. Oh, I'm out of stakes. That's why using the stake button didn't work. Hang on, let's break all of these uh, uh, museum level artifacts to turn them into weapons. We have like, well, I guess they're not wood, right? They're, these are very clearly metal. 
no good for killing a vampire at all. <laughs> we were thinking about that line um, from... Uh, is it Carpe Jugulum? It must be, right? Because it's the vampire one. Um, yeah, because it's Oats asking Granny Weatherwax. It's like, a stake through the heart kills vampires, right? And she's like, I mean, it kills everybody. Uh, we had an exit back this way, I think. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Okay. Suddenly, so many angels. If I knew more about Evangelion, I would make a good reference. Gonna cut, gonna cut, gonna cut. Uh, yeah. Again, this and get our stakes back. I heard you. There you are. Where's the? Can I get? Let's play this game. How tall can I get right now? And can I see any more angels over there? I can. Hang on, we can take care of this one. We can future proof just a little bit. I think I need to be taller. I touch the blood and Yeah. I can almost see it over there. No I can do this. No, nope. hang on. I can here I can stand on this lamp and I can jump and shoot this fucking angel from great distance, I believe in me. I think I'm not getting it. Yeah, I'm hitting that ball of straight or what the fuck ever. Uh, I saw someone talking about building a tabletop character. I noticed Dracula was an example character with a 40-point weakness of killed by a stake through the heart. And he was thinking, I too am killed by a stake through the heart. How many perks do I get to buy with that? Got you, my eyes, man, and my thighs still stains. Calling back thoughts, claiming my life through the pain. I'm gonna cut, gonna cut, gonna cut. Pistols probably aren't the best tool to try to tackle the angels with, I don't think. I should go back to the um the rifle for doing that. Um okay, what's around the corner? Just around the river bend. <laughs> that was a little wonky, but I'll take it. How about you? Oh yeah. Look at that. Training right at your center space. I should not have fucked around with them. I should not fuck around whatsoever, actually, with those knights, because they hit really hard. I should probably not let them hit me. You no, know, back to the gold stock, what did it just say? Ma'am, please hold still. I'm trying to solve your issue, but you are yelling. Let's check our corners. Uh, something just spawned directly above us, and yes, it is another angel.
Oh, thank you for quoting that. It came from a very real place. That vision in the manor wasn't a fluke. That sort of looked like the werewolf took care of the vampire for me, but... Uh, that's another bride over there, isn't it? I think so. Uh, well, if it wasn't, they certainly ejected a certain amount of blood and fell down. So I guess we're calling that a win. Uh, more spider webs, by the way. I don't think we saw a spider-like enemy the last time we saw the spider webs, so there might not be one, but hey. Oh, I should have been paying attention. I'm sorry, you you deserve my time. There we go. The door is practically held together with rubble and sand. What am I doing? Just let the luck of witness. Just let the luck of this time. Three shotgun blasts, huh? Didn't take him down? So good. I can't, good, I can't, good, I can't. Take a finger bend until it's smash like. Is the wrong tool for the wrong job. We do get just that little bit of um, bu a bullet time back on the uh, hills, which I guess is trying to make sure that we don't ever run all the way out. I don't know, you can still run all the way out. Just one night. Oh, good scars fell together. As the skin and it finds me. That feeling I'm in this body. I'll just take you before you get too close. Can I cut? Can I cut? Can I cut? Um. Any more nasty surprises? No. No. Not really. I was kind of expecting another, like, massive dump of folk. Just gonna go ahead. Yeah. Gouging my eyes, bending my thighs, slipping veins. Clawing back thoughts, cleaning my life through the pain. I'm gonna cut, gonna cut, gonna cut. We have a oh crap. Uh, we have a I say oh crap, but these have been actually quite fine to handle. They look big and scary, but they do go down easy once you know what you're doing. Like most things, it's him. What behind the rabbit? Oh, the elevator, right? We don't trust the elevator anymore because the elevator belongs to the void and the void has decided it's not on our side. Like, what if I no? What if I decide not to? I think there was a door over here that I didn't actually open.
What if I make him wait on it? Uh, no, this is... I'm not going to go back that far. I'm not going to go back that far to, for the bit. I'm just going to go into the thing. It'll be fine, probably. Yep. I uh, yep. I've been awake for 13 days. Oh, that sucks. He doesn't let me sleep. I wrench my eyes open every time they close, afraid of what he'll do if I leave them for too long. Maybe I had a projector. Maybe turn up the heat again. Far away, I wonder if I can hear laughter or if he's getting to me. The elevator shrieks through space like a great mouth. Yawning. Screaming. Let me out. Let me out. It's your stop. I like that a lot. The voice text being um, over the darkness in the way, in a way that like the other text sort of doesn't. I'm in an ancient Egypt at the bottom of the world, and I don't particularly care. Anything is better than being inside that box. So. There's a lot of established relationships in this um, kind of narrative origin story. So, uh, as that happened, we had a massive door in front of us close, while just behind it, a huge, looks like a dark red eye. Are we meant to shoot at that? Not really auto aiming at it. Doesn't appear to impact. There's an angel over there, though. Hey, I did have one. Do I still have that recording anywhere? So, for the. If you. And you can be forgiven for not have uh, seen our tabletop campaigns, uh, Tail. Uh, I played an armadillo who was obsessed with anime, and as a result, I, to sort of, like, back up the character a bit, I did a recording of, uh, Cruel Angel's thesis as Jasmine, so it's just me doing my very faux southern accent, like, yeah, <laughs> Zan koku na shina yaomi. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna put that up somewhere. Or delete it entirely. Who knows? I used it to open a stream a while ago and it got VOD muted. Or not VOD muted it, but it got um, a copyright notice until we cut it out. More angels, more brides. Oh, uh, nope. Reload, reload. I started to say something. Oh, right. So there's a lot of um, kind of established relationships in here um, that mean this isn't the thing I want, I don't think. But something that tells me that it is the embodiment of the human desire to pull God down from heaven and make him answer questions. I, I'm pretty sure that's an entity that's on my side. I'm pretty sure we can hang. Nice. Ammo. Who can save you? I want to go down there. There's clearly pills. I'm full of pills. 
Um, anything else I need to reload before we move on? I think the... Nope. Remember to reload the right one. Lights representing trapped souls. That's helpful. Clear signposting. You do have to love it. I guess you don't have to. You should. You, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you like being confused. Maybe you like working things out on your own. And that's fine for you. I like clear signposting. I like knowing what I am meant to do. Suck that, vampires. There we go. Innocent rescued. And now we're moving on. What's that way? Ooh, a bunch of gaggly bits over there, huh? Can I jump? No, I tried that before, right? Like last stream, I tried to jump onto a thing that looked like I could platform across it, and it just killed me instantly because they didn't want me there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go around. That looks like that looks like a that looks like really fun to play on. I think they aren't gonna let me. And I don't want to go through like um, however long it's been since the last auto save. Oh, there's brides up there. Gonna stake three for one. Hey, that's a new record. Oh no, does it count as three for one? Did it take three stakes from me? Was I at five a second ago and now two? I haven't been counting. I need to count. Okay. Right. Another one down. I uh, can't go that way. Please. Thank you. <laughs> I need to count. That's vampire talk. Listen, it's not just vampires that count. That is an ugly stereotype. Many people can count. I can't, but you know, out there in the world, there are people counting every day. Yeah, don't howl before you start. Fighting, bud. Okay, 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 okay. Get down. Yeah. Let's sit on the Uzi for a second. Let's see if we can't find what the Uzi is oh, meant to do. We have an innocent in here. I keep calling them hostages because uh, that's what was in the tutorial, but the game keeps calling them innocent. I don't know if that's an interesting distinction to make. What's over there? Oh, wait, excuse me. Room service? Uh, worth a shot. I can use this. Hey, if I... uh. Oh, no, they only wanted me to have one dingle. I don't get another dingle. That's fine. Suck that, vampires. All right. I do that when I come across those kinds of, like, dome bells in real life, too. I, I, I don't know what it is about them. I just can't help it. The sound is, let me, like, so crisp. I, I just enjoy it a lot. It's very sensorily pleasant. It uh, makes people who have to listen to those bells all day um, not very enthused about my presence. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Um, I could just skip you. No, I can't. There's a bunch more folks. Um, but they're not here yet. They're going to come by as soon as I rescue that innocent. Now I hear you, and you're not going to die here. We are going to save you. I'm just trying to future-proof for myself. Let's just stick on the Uzi. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're a hero. Yep. There you are. Oh, there we go. Crowd control. Gotcha. 
kind of kind of dog shit at a single target. Firing into a crowd does a treat. Not dog shit, but like you know. Uh, I hear you. Ah, okay, puppets. Okay, I wasn't prepared for it, and I became scared. It's fine. There's a puppeteer somewhere. We just have to deal with it. Where the fuck are you at? Where are you sending your terrible little children from? Over here? Somewhere. Yeah, it's sort of like a reverse MOBA, right? We're just following the waves of mobs until we find the spawner. Thank you. Save the rest. Uh, one more hostage, I guess. Where are you? Over this way somewhere. Oh, I still haven't been paying attention to my damn stakes, have I? Because I definitely got two for one there, but I wasn't paying attention to how many I had. Run. Uh. <laughs> Sir? You're blocking the... Oh. Okay. Um, did I just take a hostage? Oh, no. There we go. That's where the lights are. Oh, three angels, huh? Hey, don't mind the giant sarcophagus. That's... Thank you so much. Looks like a normal giant sarcophagus to me. Ooh, another flashback. Yeah, we're gonna hit that. Uh, I think James's code is just a really deep red, actually. Yeah, whether it's uh, Greeks or the American pioneers or indigenous populations around the world. They all talk about it. These forces beyond. Where did you get that term? Uh, it's the closest thing I can pull together from all the translations I've seen. There's no universal name for them, right? Just the concept. Shadows beyond the skin of the world. And they hate you. Have you heard anything about them making deals? Sure. It's like the Fae. But you're making a deal with something that hates you, right? Mm. There have to be consequences. Why do you think someone would do that? Probably because it's the only deal they can make. Or they want something they shouldn't have. Uh, where's the door that we were meant to go through? It's over this way, I think. <laughs> yup. How far can we get in here before things go haywire? Oh, nothing. We're gonna... We're gonna kick open this door and it's gonna be a party, I think. How does that connect? Let's actually go out and have a look. Let's do some fact finding. Oh no, that's too much fact finding. I don't wanna go that I don't wanna go that far. Let's just rush in blindly and see what happens. We're all gonna die. Imagine says Bad Road, and I like imagining this a lot. 
Thank you for posting it in chat. Imagine if a fae invites a, invites a vampire for tea. The vampire has to avoid being a bad guest, but maneuver the fae into a position where getting bitten would be required of a good host. What if you became envenomed and needed someone to suck the venom out of you? Oh, I guess then you're sucking venom and not blood, right? Or at the very least, you're sucking envenomated blood. That's probably not great if you're a vampire. Probably not what you want. Gonna just pop these angels before they can become a problem. No, you stay down there. <laughs> that was a fun one. That old werewolf just jumped everywhere. I think I caught it like right at the start of its uh its leap, so it had all the leap momentum and then the like, uh, Ragdoll just went. I continually and have not ever stopped grooving to the music. You. Uh, I guess we go this way, right? Into the necessary steps. I am denied entrance to paradise. Some people would in there. Can only hope it's not Nomen. And just like that, then back inside the box. Which doesn't appear to be opening. Okay. Jerk. <laughs> you really don't want me poking around in here. No. no. You need to stay present. I want you to feel. I like this turn. I have no idea where the fuck it goes. But I'm really excited to see. They're gonna eat me. Well, this looks like a pretty simple level, right? It's just one narrow hallway with one hostage at the end of it. There's nothing stopping us from, like, seeing this hostage. Uh, or seeing two of them. There's some, you know, some knights on either side. We're not auto-aiming at them, so they don't come to life. So it's just going to be saving this one innocent, turning around and getting right back on the I can't. elevator we came from. Not here. Yes, this is real. This is real. Huh? Right? Huh? Ah, the uh, walls are closing behind us, I see. Stellar, I really like this in here. I really like this cross. I mean, I don't like it. I think it's probably going to, like, try and shoot shit at us. Bitter throne. So this is interesting. The void isn't just pulling from creatures that exist. It's using conceptual language. Symbols are Thurian legend. Rotting king mourning. The departed queen. In other words, the void can tell whatever story it wants. So, what happens when I step onto the rune in the middle? Let's break all these pews and get our stakes up first. Okay, every single one of these fucking things is made of wood. All right. 
It looks like the heating element on an electric stove, so I assume you get cooked. You know, you're right. We haven't had a, uh... We've got an induction cooker in the house. Uh, which has been a really good tool for us to use most of the time. So we haven't seen a, a sort of burning heating element like this for a bit. But yeah, you're right. Oh, let's get cooked then. Uh, no, no, I thought that was the uh, rifle, but it wasn't the rifle. Okay, no, what am I doing? Use your tools. Okay, not the Molotov, don't... All right, well, I've used the Molotov. And it's not like it wasn't successful, but... <laughs> I wish I had done things differently. I'm just gonna heal all the whole way up before we start moving through this again. Uh, there's more Molotov over here. Ooh, another uh, flashback. I'm gonna take you apart from in here where you cannot get at me. It is blue flames like the Castlevania holy water. It clings while it burns. Yeah, let's... How far into that can I see? Yeah, a little ways. Let's, uh, listen to this flashback. So you were the Lord of the Vampires. What does that mean? It means I fought for a position. And I won it. Did you have a... Uh, it was a bit more just spiritual than that. Somehow I knew where my people were. All of them. All of the time. If one of them happened to see me, they knew exactly who I was. Without my having to say a word. I miss that. No. Don't need more. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we can't see much further down there. Is that a, is that a, yeah, that is a. That's a night we're going to have to contend with, so we just make that easy. Probably you two. Ooh, wasn't close enough. It lit up a thing. Uh oh, crap. It's it's not actually a. Is the angel still like breaking down back there? Oh no, that's uh the. That's these, um, vampires spawning in. Right, so we have to reactivate that every time, I guess. Oh, hey! Thanks. Uh, nope, forgot to reload. That's fine, we have other guns. The flashy dive backward was slightly dramatic, but it did get me the hell out of the way. Where 
where are we at? This is probably going to be the last level before the blue. Here, this time we make sure we get up way close enough. Really? Oh, no. oh. get slodged, friend. There we go. Uh, did I reload that? Yes. Did I reload the shotgun? I did not. I hear you. Okay, so I sort of think I shot you completely unprotected in the vulnerables, but you know. You disagree, and you were still able to come at me, so I guess I'm wrong. Found ammo. Yes, thank you, Bad Red. I stabbed, I stabbed him in or about the Fraka. I'm full up. And I don't need the heals either, so. So damn vampires. Uh, lights up another light. Uh, any more undead spawn in this room? I don't think so. So, we hit that button. going to open up the right wall. And... Oh, angels, and we just don't panic. Use the right tools, take them down. Actually managed to reload in time. Best ever do it. I'm begging you to say that. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, right through, sort of doing a DX crotch chop. I don't get tired of it. I, I just don't. I love ragdolls stuck in walls. Oh. Gotcha. Brain wants to go ragdolls stuck in walls dot dot com, but I don't know if that's actually a good joke. Hide from me. I have meta knowledge. Save me. Found ammo. I want to live. Thank you. <laughs> now they did spawn in some. Yup. <laughs>
I was literally about to see that. And it's closing behind me. Yup. Uh, right, so here's another cross. What's gonna. What's gonna make this whole place pop off? Is it getting. Whatever that is, is that just another shotgun? I think it's just another shotgun. Yup. Hey, you are so big. Oh, you're a boss fight. You've got, uh, fucking. You got health bars and everything. Do I use Molotovs on you? No, you don't appear to care too much about the Molotovs. Gotta change tactics. Okay, he's vulnerable. Uh, okay. Please. Do have steak in it? Oh, steak. Thank you. Oh, okay, they're, uh, invulnerable when- Let's just have a look at you. Can I just have a look at you? What are you like? You are two sets of legs and two pairs of arms, or is one of those arms really long? One of those arms is really big, uh, on the presumably right side. I guess it sort of depends on which way around you're looking. And but there's two smaller arms on the left. Is that a head in the front? Yeah, that's definitely a head in the front. It's just mostly down. Oh no, you have heads all through your torso. Those are all faces. Oops, all faces. I like you. You're fun. I'm gonna go back to shooting you now. Uh, I need to drive a stake. Okay. There we go. Can't carry more. Uh, let's just see if we can't look around and find. Oh, here we go. One more. And I think that. Oh, Christ. Okay. Are doing anything. Okay. I uh, can't run. Or I can run, but there's nowhere to run to. Uh, all of these places are places. Oh, nope. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. I can leap over this. Hey, can you break through that? No, you got pathing. Okay. That's fine. I'm over here now. Please open elevator. Please open the it's elevator. Doing anything. Oh, you've decided to just leave me in this one, huh? Eight. All I feel is hate. Sunset is the name of this chapter, but we are going to take a break before we jump into it. I did see that angel. We'll have to remember that that's there. Um, before we go to the break, we wish to take this opportunity to remind you that Black Lives Matter, that Indigenous lives and lands matter, that the lives of people of color matter, that there is a civil rights movement ongoing in this country as Black Americans fight for basic human rights and decency, equal treatment under the law, to not feel terrorized by police. We have some links that we would like for you to look at under the Donate Commander organizations that are helping people on the ground right now, the Bail Fund Network, helping to keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund, getting food supplies and travel out of dangerous situations to black, trans, and non-binary people, and the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Organization, to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers, which was stolen as every inch of the country was stolen, renamed arbitrarily to Mount Rushmore and had white slave owner spaces carved into the side of it. Under the Action Command are things you can do to be of use right now. These are ongoing GoFundMes, petitions you can sign, the ACLU Racism and Policing Correspondence Course, which we always recommend looking at if you've not seen it before. 
we think that these are good places to start, uh, but we live in an information age. Uh, do your own research. Find uh, some, uh, sorry, find some place closer to home if the spirit moves you, because guaranteed there are people closer than you think who could use some help and mutual aid. Uh, just find some way to give your energy to the civil rights movement, because building a better future is everybody's responsibility. Making sure we all get there together is everybody's fight. And we do this by battling white supremacy wherever we find it, globally, locally, and within ourselves. We are going to go to the break. We will be running some ads during the break. We have no stance on whether or not you block those ads. Uh, do a stretch. Get some water. Have a snack. Uh, take your meds if it's time for you to take your meds. Do whatever self-care is useful to you. Uh, and we will catch you back here in three to five minutes. Uh, please join us then. I had this button to go to the void. No, wait, that's not the button I want then, is it? Because I want to, don't want to go to the void. I want to go to the BRB. There we go. I think that's done it. And now I hit the button that goes to the ad break. And presumably that's done that as well. I'm going to mute myself and go take my own advice and be back.
Hey there. I'm back. It's me. Despite everything. I did get some water. Um, because I realized that the only thing I had really had to drink today was three energy drinks. And I kind of needed to counterbalance that. With something that actually hydrates. So, delicious life-giving water. Let's get back to El, let's get back to El Paso. Make sure I'm hitting the buttons I need to hit. That one sends us to this screen, which is the screen I want you to be seeing. Stellar. Uh, I hope y'all are doing okay. Uh, happy to be sort of rolling with you through El Paso. Oh, right, there's a angel over there that we can just ace from this distance, I think. Oh, there you are. Ma'am. There's another one just on the other side of that wall. Do I get hurt standing on the fire? Yep, it turns out, yes. It turns out, yes. Nice. I cannot stand on the fire. A fatal kiss is all we need. A view to a kill. Oh, this is not a good time, you puppeteering shit. There we go. Uh, oops. Hey, could you? Thanks. Could you please come over the base of the wall? Good stick. Good stick. Walls again. Hey, asshole. Thank you. Uh, definitely a hostage over that way. There's... Oh. Peter Rand's behind me. Really? There's more than one of you. You're just a thing that exists now. Oh, uh-oh. I don't know if I enjoyed that. <laughs> nah, it's fine. We figured it out. That's not as hard as it looks. I just need to keep stakes on me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm finishing the sketch of that complex piece I've been working on. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Uh... Again, I have seen the early version of that piece, and I'm very excited to see the finished version of that piece. That's a big pot. It must have been. Oh, it's full of Maltovs and a vampire. You know, like a birthday cake. You know, you get those big novelty birthday cakes with vampires in them. We're just gonna take our time going through the maze. It's not really a maze, it's just, oh, ooh. Right. There's God. four of them? No, uh, I don't need this many puppets in my life. No, crap, and I hit the knight too. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh god, please, what? Okay. You keep going. Uh, I got completely clowned in there. I just got absolutely taken apart because I uh, 
panicked a little too hard uh, in a too narrow a space. Now you're just a normal enemy, normal ass enemy like those axe armor. <laughs> It's about to spawn like three of the puppeteers. I can take them out like this, I think. If I just use the rifle, make sure I'm. Oh, great. I've always figured out how to make more of them. Oh, well. <laughs> that didn't quite go as intended. Oh, I didn't reload the shotgun either, so now I am just kind of... I am... No, I swear to you I hit reload. I swear I hit it. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Get out. Get out. Cease. Mother's fucker sending 20 people to my door like, I'm just asking questions. I'm just trying to understand what you're going through. Uh, no, no you don't. I'm really glad you snuck up behind me, otherwise I might not have noticed that I was almost dead again. Huh. That one's, uh, big. It looks like it's having a little bit of a... Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so when I fire at something that doesn't take damage, uh, you can see the reticle in there. It doesn't do anything. It just remains the white dot. When I fire at the big pot over here, it flashes that little yellow diamond that's around the center, the one that tells you that you've hit something, but not critically. So what if I just lay into this? Can I break this massive pot? Yes, it turns out. I don't know if that did anything, but it was very fun to do. It really stored you. Let me save this person who's been panicking the entire time. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I just sort of get... Uh, Stuck into ideas sometimes. Uh, where the fuck are we going? I guess over there. Right, because we can see through the ceilings. Oh, you're behind me? No, you're not around here, and that's okay. That's probably a uh, come to lifesman. We are just going to, yep. 
Uzi probably would have done better there, but I did break the side also. Let's go see what's down the side path. Okay. Uh, ooh, another hostage, so it's not a side path. Got ammo. All right, this time let's save the hostage before we turn around and oh well. half of Europe. He was chaos from town to village because he had a creature inside him that couldn't do otherwise. I watched him die, but apparently he's a goblin, strong enough to pierce the void itself now. Fuck me. Oh, I forgot to reload the uh, rifle, huh? Yup. You're behind me. No, you're not behind me anymore. You're up to the side of me. I need to just run, actually. I need to just run, actually. All this shit I'm doing, it's useless, and I need to just run, actually. As a matter of fact, in jollification. Oh, there's a thing in here. I shouldn't have done that. I've trapped myself in a small room. I've trapped myself in a tiny room. We're running, We're making good time. We're making smart decisions. We're believing in ourselves. We didn't fuck up irrevocably, and we're absolutely not going to get aced by, like, four fucking brides that keep teleporting all along these walls. Not even a little bit are we going to do that. We're going to get to the elevator, and it's going to be great. Our good... Well, we got aced by the brides, it turns out. You keep going, though. Escape possible. I do like that, too. <laughs> Okay, I need to quit doing the what the fuck I'm doing right now and actually manage the threats. Okay. I need to reload first before I do that. The guns. Actually, if I can just stay back here and let her... Let them come to me. Brides. Oh, uh, damn. Well, we're not going to go through that for a minute. Angels, huh? But you keep going. And there's another one. Yes. Stake right here, so now we can still have full stakes. And I think if we just stick on Strike Breaker, that's going to be the most useful thing as we mowed down this zone. Uh, except for the uh, fucking angel that's above us, but they can't really hit us as long as we stay moving. Just need to remember to switch the crop for tool and reload it. I forgot to reload it. Hey, you remember how I didn't reload it before the checkpoint? And now it's unloaded every time we start the checkpoint again? That's on me. Okay. Back to Strike Breaker. Okay, we're absolutely going to make it this time. Not even as like a bit, not even as a joke, this is the run. <laughs> Um, hey, do you remember earlier how I said this wasn't a maze? Oh, okay, here we go. Exit. Green light means exit. They just don't have the signs up. Open elevator. Open elevator? Birth year, 1991. Blood type. O negative. Your father's last words. I'm done. Ooh. Did you know that you loved me to have a drink? Ferris wheel. Why are you here? Ferris wheel. I... We were on a Ferris wheel. It had been a really good day. And as we rose to the top, she put her head on my shoulder and closed her eyes and whispered to herself. I forgot living could be a good thing. 
And that was it. This one good day burned into my head. And I gave her my soul. And I remembered it. I remembered it when she started lying to me. And controlling me. I didn't have any money when we traveled. Everything was hers. I existed by her graces. And that was good because she loved me. And I was special and I remembered. My good day. I remembered when she started reveling in me being a little bit afraid of her. All of the time. I remembered when she put me on that fucking couch. And told me to stay, and I did. I pissed myself. And I waited. For four days, scared of what would happen if I got up and she found out. Proud of myself for showing that I could stay. Four days of waiting and blinking and feeling the inside of my mouth dry and crack like poured cement. Until she came back. Covered in blood. I didn't believe her when she told me she'd stopped feeding. I'd seen blood stains washing clothes. But there she was, standing in the doorway, finally telling me the truth about what she wanted to be. Her first words to me and the last words I've heard her say for two years were good boy. The same sick part of me that felt like it was tearing in half when I left her was glad. Glad I stayed. Like the good boy I am. And that she saw me. I drove away as fast as I could, weeping in a car that didn't belong to me. Still remembering that one good fucking day. As much as I want to hate her for what she did to me, without laying a finger on me, and what I did to myself, I can't. I can't. Because it was a really good fucking day. That her words were warm and her head was cold, and I don't know if I'm ever going to make someone feel like they are good. Like that. Never again. Good. You're ready to die. It's been nice knowing you. Savage. I can't say I share your opinion. He's a cat and I'm the mouse. That's the game. I have to play along. Death March. Okay. So, yup. Uh, big ol' Pharaoh with a- Oh, what is that called? I know it from Dark Souls. Shotel? Ow. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Green light. That way. I follow the green light. We do, thank you. We are getting the fuck away. Um not Okay, yes. Could be any other organ in there. So I guess I'm lucky. Okay, found a little bit of a respite, gonna take it because we lost a lot of fucking health really quickly. Hey, I'm actually just going to take a stop real quick, um, because that cutscene... ...fucked me up just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just take a quick pause and drink my water. This seems like a good video game. Freya. It is... I want to roll credits before I say this is one of my favorite video games of all time. But it's it's looking real good.
Badrod asks, is that a wheel or a throne referring to the angel? I do not know enough about the canonical angels in order to usefully answer that question. Uh, they look like a gyroscope with an eye in the middle and a crown. It's probably a throne, actually, because we've had a lot of throne imagery um, in the in the game. Uh, the big stacking pile of chairs from the hotel and then all of the King Arthur stuff from the medieval space. It, um, I imagine it would be a throne. That would be inter that would be like thematic, right? Okay, so I need a heart to open it. Oh, that's not sprint. Left click isn't sprint. It's breaking so many jumpy. It's a big jumpy dive. Okay, the light's over there. It's fine. We're just following the light, just like we've always done. It's just regular shit. It's green over here. We're gonna pop this. We're not gonna pop that. Instead of that, we're gonna. <laughs> Can I blast you with the Molotov? Oh, that's nothing. Uh oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. I can do this. Fucking kill him. I'm not trying to, James. I'm trying to blow up this fucking pot. I guess we're meant to go that way, but. On the other hand. <laughs> All right. You keep going. You don't just stand there in the middle of the room and try and do something completely silly. Instead of that, you keep going. Should have been on pistols. That's fine. It's fine. I don't know how close the Pharaoh is behind me. Uh, and I'm not allowed to know. I'm just going to keep going out oh, much closer than I would like. Oh, much closer than I would like. <laughs> okay, I hit the fire and the jump momentum just made me go. All right. I, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I'm, you keep going, by the way. Uh, I was about to say I was way not paying attention to my health. All right, there we go. It turned out I started, like, pretty low. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stake. I'm just gonna stake and ask questions later. More pills. All right, there we go. And here's a yellow heart, but before that, this uh, uh, this vampire has kindly uh, put their head through a wall. So that's that sort of need ammo. Take a breath. Look around. Make sure that we are reloaded on all the things we need to be reloaded on. Before we move out and put ourselves back into danger. Over this way. Nothing? Did you give up or are you still waiting for me in that central room? I imagine it's that, right? Oh yeah, there you are on the other side of the elevator. Can I get away with just you not seeing me? Can I turn this into a stealth game? Do you just aggro when I'm in your space, or do you actually have to see me? Here we are, it seems to align with the aspect of the soul. Oh, okay, that's why that was um, vibrating over there, because that's 
where we go when we're done. We have the green heart and the yellow heart. Now we need the purple heart behind that. It looks like... Oh, no, you did see me. Unfortunately, you have, you have indeed seen me. I'm just gonna go. Oh, shit, you're up there. That is a big fucking heart. It's not as big as me. But, ah, oh shit. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, that's fine. We are just gonna duke you around that pillar and never look back and never look back. Okay, maybe the mouse wins. Maybe I can turn this around. Suddenly just cut to black. Let's take him on another ride. No, 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 I can't do this again, no. Stop. No. No! Jenny! Jenny Frey. The son of Khufu, the Great Builder. Frey. I put the pieces together. Zimforth wanted out early, and he needed meat. Meat with a connection to Dokulai. A tether. A stronger tether than the man who made her who she is. Zimforth felt you in the ether, hitched a ride when you came back, poured you into a suit. That's why I haven't been able to hurt you. Because you've got a patron. She never said your name. We spent every moment together for three years. She told me everything, but the one thing that Janet didn't say is your name. Didn't breathe it. So you, you managed to complete a pyramid in your own lifetime. Conquered mortality, faked your own death to reign over the underworld, birthed the Lord of the Vampires, and it's all gone. Forgotten. The only reason I know who you are is because I was looking into the pharaohs of Egypt once, researching mummies, vampires, where that all started. And there was a big gap where your name is. Because of all the mysteries of Egypt, you were the one that no one has cared to solve. Even to the person who loved you most, you're dead. Does that hurt? Uh, I am a king. I have nothing to prove. It's the end of the world, man. You don't have a name. You don't have authority. You don't have her. The one thing you can get right now, after a very, very long time, is the fight that matters. things interesting. I'm going to pause for just a second to let all of that take in. Actually, I should go into the settings because the music was kind of um, overpowering the voices a little bit, and I don't want that to be the case. Um, voice over volume. We'll just turn music and effects down. I like 15. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, hey, world swirling. Recognize you. Uh, in certain ways. I have battled the endless levels of Twitch accessibility problems to join you all in the chat. Waves high. Hello. We're very glad you've chosen to step in and check us out. 
Uh, I'm told that the ancient Egyptians believed to survive in the afterlife, someone alive had to remember your name, which might explain the attempt to erase his. I did not know that, but I'm very glad to know that. That is excellent. And let's tank it down by another five points. Can we take voiceover volume up? No, no, we cannot. Okay. So we're just going to fight. Uh, I was not paying close enough attention to be able to um, remember how to pronounce that name. Just like the Burnman. Wear him down, then use a stake. Okay, great. Uh, except you're much faster. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's a uh, that doesn't track like the um it's like the uh knights are. So once you start in with that big rush, I can just get out of the way. Should probably be using shotgun. Yeah, shotgun's doing it. And staked. Ooh, okay. Chopped right down. You keep going. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Two, three, and four. Yeah. It works a lot like just a big version of the Knights, too, because if I can get in that back hit, that's so much damage in one go. Need to make sure I'm watching my... Uh, ammo. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on, I can reload. I'm pilot. Took out all the ads. Ooh, okay, you teleport now. Fun. You keep going. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Alright. This is fine. I know how to handle this. I just need to keep my shit together. Keep my dodges sexy, make sure I'm using the uh, slow-mo to the best of my ability. Don't let myself run out of fucking ammo like I did just there. Would be great. I'd love if I didn't do that. But I'm me, so I'm probably just going to keep doing that. It is my gift, it is my curse. I think I might, like, actually have dyscalculia. I talk a little bit about how, like, I'm a product of the Oklahoma public school system and resultantly hate math, but I think I might just, like, not be able to math under pressure whatsoever. Oh, please. Now nah, I shot too early. Damn it. That went right into the ground. Wouldn't be my first time. There we go. Okay, now we switch to the Strike Breaker. Oh, okay. Because you're about to, hmm, summon your adds, but you didn't do that. You did the teleport jump instead. Just like the Burn Men. Wear him down, then use a stake. I was wondering if I could just, like, shoot him from the front. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot him from the front. You, that's fine, though, because you keep going. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake.
All right, this is going better because I'm actually doing the thing I said I should be doing. Okay, there we go. I gotta remember to make sure I'm through the roll uh, before I hit. Hmm, okay. So that's how you do that. Hmm. So I'm seeing the tell, uh, or I'm gonna pause for just a second. I'm seeing the tell for the teleport move. He's like pulling his arm back uh, to do a like big slice and then he just sort of moves from where he is to where I am. I'm not sure how I meant to dodge it. I tried going to the side. Uh, maybe I just need to start earlier. Uh, something that interests me, says Xenon, uh, says Freya, apologies. Something that interests me about ancient Egyptian religion is the fact that they wrote everything down in such a manner that we actually know quite a lot about it today. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. I think, Freya, that what you said is interesting, and I'm trying to think about it a little bit while uh, while playing, but unfortunately, I am needing to... Okay, I can roll through. Okay, I can roll through. That's fine. Oh, you just turned around, but that's fine. Yes, okay. I just need to roll through instead of to the side, and you kind of get lost in there. Get rid of the ads. Oh, damn it. I was too busy trying to take care of that werewolf and I didn't see the wind up. Damn, okay. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Very quickly, slow down, roll, slow down, shoot. Easy as one, two, three. So easy, so easy an apple pie can make it. There we are. And steak. It's going really well. Except right there. I just got hit right there. But, you know, generally. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never going to survive that. I ran, I ran myself out of ammo, ran myself out of health, and the ads spawned uh, all at once. That wasn't going to go well. I wonder if maybe it's more useful to switch to something else besides the shotgun? The shotgun just does so much damage, though. I can't imagine what's going to do better than that. I should just switch to... Maybe Uzi for the ads. Yeah, yeah, because we decided it was for crowd control. We'll see if that works. Uh, where's the Uzi at in relation to the shotgun? It's two over, I think, because it's Strike Breaker and then Uzi. Just like yes. The okay. Wear him down, then use a stake. All right, so at least this first, uh... Mm-hmm. This first stage is going marvelously well. Really need to... Oh, shit. Keep... We'll just lay into the back. Oh, wow, that does so much fucking damage. Oh, I should have been doing that this whole time. 
Okay, I also should have been paying attention to the fucking t uh uh be be been wear him down then use a stick. telegraph. There it is. Hang on, let's switch to the Uzi then. Is that repeatable? Of course it's repeatable. It's an Uzi, it's a machine pistol. Uh is the result repeatable? <laughs> Not really. I got a really good volley right there, I think, that first time. Yeah, and it's kind of not doing that now. So let's switch back to the cavalry. Couldn't hold more if I tried. I just need one more. There it is. And. Stake you, death. I'm pretty sure I staked you, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> you keep going. We're gonna take a quick pause. Uh, because I feel myself tensing up. This is a very tense experience. It's a good boss fight. I'm enjoying it. I am absolutely shrimping over my desk. So I'm just going to relax the backs and sip the water. I'm I'm still thinking about the um uh, about the thing Freya said about um religion in ancient Egypt and uh There's a thought I'm trying to have but I don't know if it's a good thought. It's something about the the way that history is stored. This is something I was thinking about when we were doing um, Occupy White Walls, too. It, it's... There's a lot of preserved history from Egypt because it was a British colony and they sort of stole everything of uh, historical interest. Or of historical interest to them, I guess is my point. Um, this is a more complicated thought than I can have in the middle of a, a game stream. I should uh, try that elsewhere. El Paso, elsewhere. See, I brought it back. Then use a stake. There we are. Okay. Yeah, taking that break was super useful. Look at this. Sometimes you just need a moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> but sometimes you fuck up and, you know, that happens. So the... Here's the thing that's currently, uh... Annoying me a little bit. Not annoying me. But it's that I can tell that when we get to the second phase, the, uh... Lyrics start coming in. And I really, really am sure that the the track will continue building on itself as we go through this fight. And I'm annoyed that I, I'm not getting to hear more of it because I'm not playing well enough. <laughs> why are there pyramids? Why are there pyramids in ancient Egypt? Because they're too happy to carry to the royal museum. I like that. Just like the burn men, wear him down, then use a stake. Okay. There we are. Wrong move, 
Just reload while you're doing whatever the fuck it is you think you're doing. Oh, okay. Okay. You keep going. So here's what I think's effing me up is in the second phase that dash that is uh his main attack is truncated. Uh it's always four slashes in the first phase, but after the second phase he stops as soon as you get past him and turns around. So uh that timing change I think is something I'm having trouble adjusting to on the fly. But now that I know I'm having trouble adjusting to it, I can work on it. All I want to know is what I'm doing. Holy shit, that sucks. The terrible thing is the pyramids have actually become progressively more stolen because tourists will take bricks. Certainly, they must have people there with sticks to tell them not to, right? I get that you get in trouble if you hit people with sticks, but... Like, you should also get in trouble if you try to destroy national landmarks a little bit. As long as they're not like statues of Confederate generals or whatever. Ruin those national landmarks. Those national landmarks suck. Here in Oklahoma, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, here in Oklahoma, we've got a fucking memorial to the land run. Which sucks. It is, unfortunately, the origin story of our fucking... It's actually not the origin story of the state, uh, because the origin story of the state is forcing a whole bunch of people off of land that they were promised after they were moved on to it from land that they were on in the first place. <laughs> they should start a rumor that the bricks are cursed like the rocks on the beach in Hawaii. Although then people will just mail them back, which is an entirely different hassle. I wasn't aware that people started circulating the rumors that rocks in on the beach in Hawaii are cursed. So the tourists wouldn't fuck up their biodiversity. Just like the burn men. Okay. Wear him down, then use a stake. We're gonna do it this time. Because here's the thing. It's 11 o'clock. Oh... Just before, just, just before, and I want to finish this boss fight before I go to bed so that it's not just sort of hanging over me. I don't know if I can make that happen within a reasonable time frame, so I guess I'm aiming for an unreasonable one. Okay, 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 no. You can just break right through that, huh? Okay. Mm. Uh, I think it's an actual... Oh, I apologize, because I just called it a rumor thing. Uh, I think it's an actual Hawaiian religious belief that it's blasphemous to remove land from the island. I can see why it would be. Just like the burn man. You only have so much. I guess, you know, the volcanoes make more, but that's a slow process. Please, thank you. Nah, fuck that up. That's fine. Oh crap, I definitely need to reload and do not have that time. Keep going. I'm just gonna roll right into it. Wear him down, then use a stake. No breaks, fuck it. Hey, that's not how you're supposed to attack. Hey bud, we have we have an established pattern here. Alright. Let 
remember to reload. Remember to make sure you're aiming at this. <laughs> actually aiming at the glowing weak spot. I'm trying so hard to heal before I hit this stake and start the second phase turbine blade. Oh, nice. I mean, it's not, James. I'm sort of panicking. Okay, he's vulnerable. Okay. And stakes. Um, maybe use the rifle instead when you do the teleport thing, because you end up going all the way into the wall. Oh no, Strike Breaker's doing okay. Hmm. I was really trying to keep an eye on that teleport dash, too. Just like the burn men. Uh, Wear him down, then use a stake. We are doing it. It is this time. This is the run. We are calm and we are confident. We are believing in ourselves. This is well within our power. Yeah, see, we didn't even get hit that time. I mean, before I started talking shit and got hit, but, you know. Oh, I didn't actually get hit. Wonderful. I thought you turned down back up. Okay, so we can get the ads out real quick. Oh, I'm so glad you hit that fucking uh, partition instead of me. Did I manage to get them all? No, there's a werewolf over there. No, those are uh, rocks. It's fine. Oh, you keep spawning? You keep spawning. I hate that. And then I turned my back uh, and got slashed immediately. That's fine. That happens. Just like the burn men. Let's actually stay on Strike Breaker and see if that does literally any better. Mm, it looks like it's doing about the same. Same for like stop. But it does mean that I don't have to change weapons when we're getting into the uh, second phase with the ads, so. Oh, okay, we need the ads, don't we? Yeah, we do need the ads because I'm running out of, um... Yeah, that's what's doing that. The ads are there to make sure we don't run all the way out of... Oops, uh... Uh, all the way out of bullet time because, uh... Just Beating like monsters is how we get bullet time. Down, then use a stake. So I should be paying a lot more attention to that, but I'm not because there's a lot of things to work on all at once. Don't get greedy. Just do a couple. Just do a couple pops before getting out of bullet time. Oh, that's going well. Oh, 
I kind of didn't deserve that uh, hit I got off on that werewolf, but sure. Ugh. You keep going. I might just quit, actually. It's 11.06 right now. I'm going to make a commitment that if we get up to like 11.15, I'm just going to stop because as much as I really want to finish this boss fight before we quit, I don't want to wreck myself doing that. I'll take another sip of water as long as we're in here. Just like the burn men. I, I down, think I'm actually better served trying to remember to switch between the cavalry and the strike breaker so I have to aim the strike breaker at the back piece less. Or I have to aim the cavalry at the back piece less, rather. And I'm going to reload while he's vulnerable before we jump into the next stage. There we are. Now, what are you doing with that? Uh, I... So here's the thing. I'm aware, logically, that I can heal in the middle of this fight. That I can press the button I've always pressed and it lets me use my pills the way I've always used them. I'm forgetting that. Because again, handling a lot of things at once. Oh, hey, we, uh... Mm, I was about to say we were going to get to the third stage, and then I got hit by the teleport dash. Ah, Just like okay. The Wear him down, then use a stake. Hope y'all are doing okay out there. Hope you're enjoying the panicking. It's what I do best. There we are. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Ow, okay. No, roll forward, darn you, okay. <laughs> that one's on me. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Hey, could you? <laughs> that is not how you're meant to do that, sir. This is an Arby's? Granted, it's an Arby's in an nth dimensional state in the. Middle of El Paso, Texas, but that's someone else's problem. There we go. I gotta remember not to try and uh, attack him in the middle of the... Uh, uh, in the middle of the attack, either. Mm. You keep going. All right, let's try the cavalry for the first stage and the strike breaker for the second, because I think the fact that I have to get in quick when he turns around is... I think the strike breaker is going to be better for that. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. No, it's not doing four every time anymore, is it? That's weird. Okay.
uh, since you asked, I'm doing well. I'm very glad to hear it, Bad Road. You're my friend, and I, I like it when you're doing well. Okay. So that's end of first stage. I'm just going to make sure I'm reloaded before I fuck around with that. And okay. So now switch to the strike breaker. Now roll forward, roll through. No. <laughs> oh, that was a whole bunch of fuckery, and I wasn't prepared for any of it. Gonna. Mm, I thought it was gonna heal, and then didn't notice that vampires had spawned in from the side. Uh, I finished the sketch, and I shall start the lines the next time I work on this piece. I'll also be going to be going to bed very soon. You deserve it. Burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Ow. Okay. It's 11.13. Not this one, but let's call the next one the for definite uh, last run. Not that we're going to get to it. I'm going to beat it this time. I mean, not if I keep whiffing my fucking stakes like that. Whiffing my stakes like that isn't going to get this boss fight done anytime soon. Reload, please reload. Ooh, we get a cutscene at the second half. Closure. Let's bury you again, motherfucker. Uh, you keep going. Hey, do we get to restart there? No, we sure Just don't, do we? We have to start back over at the start of the fight. And then when we get into the second half of the fight after the little mini scene, we get teleport dashed instantly. That sucks. This is going to be the last run. And then we'll fucking figure this out uh, next week. We're him down. We're going to use a stake. All right. This is, this is not, this is fine. I am playing smart. Let's reload. And stake you, and then get the fuck out of this tiny area I've stuck myself in. And just absolutely waylay your whole guts. There we go. All right. We got to the second half real quick. Closure. Let's bury you again, motherfucker. Yep, okay, that's on me. I just need to make sure I'm... Damn, Strikebreaker is just putting in the work. Just gonna chew, like, a bunch of pills real quick. You're just kind of walking slow at me now, friend. Have you given up? I'm worried about you. 
we are just gonna go ahead and collect as many of these fucking resources as the game will let us. Okay. I just need to blow past you. Let's make sure all of our guns are reloaded while we have this little respite. Molotovs are fine, pistols are fine, but we should probably be using the strike breaker like we had been. Roll through. I'm watching history in front of me. Flail before it's violent death. It looks good fucking riddance. I it showed the name of the pharaoh down there. Mm hmm Okay. No, get it all out, bud. You deserve it. This has been really rough. My God. James? Hey. What? What is this? This is Jedi Fry. The Force Beyond brought him back, brought him into a suit. I, I, I didn't think the door had opened yet. I don't think it has. But you know these ancient forces of hatred and destruction. Always getting antsy. Massive groaning sound. I have to go back. Um, I felt a ripple, so. Oh yeah, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. I'll be here. He'll be staying. Fuck. Very real, bud. Very real. <laughs> Back to the hotel. From scratch. You're right, that was the last attempt. I'm glad to have proven myself right, quite honestly. Uh, so th I'm just gonna quit out of here, I suppose, so we can, uh, get the music out of our cans. I felt something collapse inside my chest. The floor rushed to catch me. I really like the, um, exit. The game exit confirmations. They're very good. I love noir shit. Maybe that doesn't surprise you. Uh, so, yeah, El Paso elsewhere is going to keep going. We got our first shot of, like, uh, Dracula this far in. Real rough. Okay. So that's it. Let's go to the outro screen. Here we are. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, I've been Remy. I'm one of six people who stream on this channel, along with, uh, September, along with July, along with Soleil, along with Zoo and Dallas. Uh, we stream five days a week. If you wanted to interact with the follow button for whatever, in whatever way makes you feel the most comfortable, you can be notified when we go live and see all the cool shit we do. Uh, let's run down our schedule so that you know what we're doing. Actually, let's do Patreon first. We usually do Patreon first. Uh, if you wish to support us, you could do so either by, uh, hmm, that doesn't work. Right, I didn't set up that command yet in chat. We have a Patreon, uh, at patreon.com slash squirrellily, which I am hurriedly bringing up in my web browser. Um. Hmm. So here's the thing about that. Here's the thing about that is that I can't get into our Patreon from here. Uh, I am being gestured at from the other side of the room that they are going to uh, 
that they are going to figure that out. Uh, so, if you wanted to subscribe here, as Bad Road has just demonstrated, there are lots of emotes uh, of possum screaming, or all of our faces, except mine, <laughs> because I was a late addition. I understand that. I'm not mad about it. But I am the only one that doesn't have an emote. Uh, or, uh, thank you, I found it. Thank you very much. Uh, or, if you wanted to support us at patreon.com slash squirrellily, you can uh, get some bonuses uh, in addition to helping us out here. Uh, one of the things we have been offering, but hasn't happened for a little while, are speed draws of uh, uh, me doing the thumbnails for our YouTube, because I do thumbnails for all of our YouTube bods. The next one's going to be for Skyward Sword, and I swear to God you're going to get it before the end of the month. Uh, uh, you could be, uh, like these wonderful, uh, you would, um, pardon, if you would like to, you could also get a shout out at the end of the stream, like these people are about to. Uh, Ava Fox, Andemonium, DeWill, Melissa Case, Sage, and the Melodic Freak System. Thank you all so much for helping us continue to do this. Uh, again, we would do it for an empty room, but it's nice not to have to. Uh, what are my other buttons? I'm certain I have them. Uh, talked about the Patreon. Let's talk about the schedule. It's schedule.truck.community. I know that one works. We can see uh, not just our schedule, but the entire stream team's schedule. Uh, Let's run it down real quick. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Willow might be playing uh, some stuff in the afternoon at twitch.tv slash willowmiss23. And in the evening back here at Squirrel Lily, Soleil is going to be continuing Plague Tale Requiem, which is probably going to be the last one of those streams. Uh, Wednesday. Pardon. Wednesday, uh, Bad Road at twitch.tv slash Bad Road will be playing Prince of Persia Warrior Within. And then back here in the evening zoo, along with me, we'll be playing Lords of the Fallen. That game slaps. I, I like it a lot. It's, I love its visual art style. I love the aesthetic of the fucking umbral where everything's made out of corpses. I just like looking at it. Uh, Thursday, uh, Alice will be playing Final Fantasy X Remaster over here. And Friday, July is going to start. Am I allowed to say what you're starting? Uh, she is going to be doing Super Mario RPG, and uh, September is going to be joining her with Super Mario RPG, my wonderful head maiden spouse September. Saturday is going to be, uh, we don't stream, but in the morning at twitch.tv slash wandering beekeeper. Wandering beekeeper will be doing some stuff in Minecraft uh, after that. Uh, in the afternoon, Willow, again at Willow Miss 23, will be doing some stuff there. Uh, possibly, or possibly not. It depends. She's got a lot going on just now. Uh, Saturday evening, Freya Dragon at twitch.tv slash xenonfiber will be playing Alien Isolation, unless Demon Dog's going to be playing Half-Life. Uh, but either way, go check out that stream. Those are, those are fun streams. Sunday, again, we don't stream, but Willow may be doing some stuff throughout the day and at Willow Miss 23. And in the evening, Wandering Beekeeper at Wandering Beekeeper will be playing Roots of Pacha. Monday, uh, loops back around to me. Andy's going to be, uh, Andy at twitch.tv slash andemonium uh, will be with his partner playing Riven, the, the new re-release of Riven. And uh, I missed this week, I the sort of... The sort of low-key conceit of those streams has been uh, kind of explore and bash your head against stuff for a while and then find one key that blows open uh, a whole bunch of answers, which is uh, basically how we feel about the missed experience. It's nice watching other people go through it. And then uh, a little bit later than that, back here, I will be continuing El Paso Elsewhere. I don't know how much El more El Paso Elsewhere there is, I hope it never stops. That's not true. I hope it stops and has a like useful conclusion that ties all of its thematic elements together because I like narrative. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck, what was his name in WWE? He's Claudio Castagnoli now and was before. I'm just thinking of that one fucking match where... Uh, 
uh, Antonio Cesaro. Yeah, Cesaro fought Sami Zayn at NXT once. That's not where the Fight Forever chant came from, but it was the first time I'd ever heard it, and I couldn't uh, fucking have agreed more. That's all. I, that's what I want. I want Fight Forever. Anyway, that's the schedule. Um, did he spin him? I think this was slightly before Cesaro started using the the many the many many spins. He his not finishing maneuver, but one of his signatures maneuver is he would just uh, pick his opponent up by the legs with the legs tucked underneath his armpits and spin them. Uh, to disorient them, you see. I love professional wrestling. It's my big favorite. God, I swear to you I'm saying something. And it's of import. Schedule. We did the schedule. Um, what else do I need to say to you? We have a YouTube at youtube.truck.community. I have important things to say about the YouTube. Um, uh, one of our other headmates, Riley, has taken it upon... Uh, has taken it to put all of our videos in playlists. Riley's been working on that for like months now, and that's finally done. Every video on our YouTube channel is in its own playlist corresponding to the game that it is in. So if you wanted to watch one game played all the way through without having to hunt and peck through our video library, that's available to you now. Uh, unless it's a one-off or uh, something that has something that we didn't want to promote for whatever reason there's a couple of games like that that uh just don't have their own video list but for the most part it's all there uh and there's a video list called other strangeness that's mostly just the one-offs but uh, it's at youtube.truck.community i'm gonna do that we got a thing uh says july the very it the antonio cesaro's spin move is very flashy and relatively easy as strongman moves go and yes it is but the other strongman move cesaro does is a lot more impressive uh the bit where he puts someone in a vertical suplex just straight up straight up and down a vertical suplex holds them at the pinnacle and does like five or six squats just to fucking prove he can He's so good. I need to figure out where he's wrestling right now, except it's probably goddamn AEW. Um, tangents. Fuck. Is that everything? I think it's everything, and if it's not, I'm going to say it's everything because it's 1130 and I need to get into bed. Thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, love you. Have a good night.